Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Marr. Togo is a small country in Western Africa. It produces cotton, coffee, and it's produced a Pleasantville man heading to the Olympics next week with a paddle in hand and gold medal dreams. Gino Ganello has the story. Pleasantville resident and Westchester Table Tennis Center coach Koku Fanny spends a lot of his time here in America working on his craft. But it was back home in Togo where he found the sport he now tirelessly aims to master. So we used to play soccer together in front of the table tennis hall. Then one of, one of this, those Saturdays, I came to them. I said, yeah, okay, we have time. We start at 8 o'clock. Let's go play some soccer. And they were telling me, no, uh, we're not going to play soccer. Today we're going to play table tennis. It was at that point that the sport became more of a staple in Koku's life. And in 2006, he turned his focus towards making the Olympics. But financial hardships didn't allow him the training he so desperately needed and it led to doubts that almost made him give up on his dream. So many times I like, no, I went down on myself and I asked myself if this is even worth it. I almost gave up, but I got like some great guys supporting me, pushing me say, you know what? You can do it. Only dreamers see their dream comes true. Those dreams finally became reality this year when Koku made the Olympics, rewarding all his years of hard work. It's amazing that sometimes if you wake up and you think about it, like, Oh yeah, I'm going to the Olympics. That's it, it, that's a it's an amazing feeling that I, I won't have a word to explain it. It's, it just feels amazing. Koku's first match will take place on Saturday, July 24th, where he'll look to become the first ever Togolese table tennis player to win a match at the Olympics. In Yonkers, Gino Ganella, News 12. And table tennis has been an Olympic sport since '98. China has won 28 of the 32 gold medals handed out. Back after this.